Seriously, Mentos and Coca-Cola? <laughs> we all know what comes from that particular combo. Filled with fear and with shaking hands, Ted opens his can of Coke. <sighs> hmm, well, that was underwhelming. You can all breathe a sigh of relief, and Ted can sip on his soda, no problem. <laughs> all right, now it's Katie's turn, and things are gonna heat up. That's a much bigger bottle. <laughs> Boom! Hope that was refreshing. Too bad just about nothing at all is left for Katie to drink. Maybe if she wrings out her clothes, though? <laughs> Last but not least in the slightest, we've got Monica. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a massive explosion. <laughs> Guys, you might want to back away from the screens, too, just in case. There she blows! Everyone was in the splash zone. Don't try this at home, kids. Your parents won't be amused by the results. Oops. <laughs> we've got ice cream. We've got a spoon. Mm -mm. But the two don't really match one another in size, do they? <laughs> Everyone in our trio has been served up such a pairing. Funny stuff. Monica gave her spoon a go, but it just wasn't meant to be. <gasps> no! <laughs> it's out of here, and she's treating her treat like a finger food. Bit gross, really. Bleh. But manners be damned, the ice cream is gone. Everything Ted's got is just right. A medium-sized spoon for a medium-sized carton of ice cream. Blech. What a mess, Ted. Katie, that means you're up. That giant bucket of ice cream is insanely huge, and it's gonna take ages to eat it with that tiny spoon. The other two drift off as they wait. How much time has passed? A day? A week? A year? Oh, she's frozen solid. What's with this measly serving? Mm -hmm. Ted isn't exactly living the dream either. What? <laughs> and somehow Katie's plate is totally empty. How unfair, right? No one is particularly happy, but Monica knows that one Skittle is better than none. Ted, bit greedy, aren't you? But a showman all the same, too. Now that was quite the trick he just pulled off. Mm -hmm. Things keep getting stranger. What's with the umbrella? Huh? I don't think rain was in the forecast. Well, regular rain wasn't at least, but a Skittles downpour has already begun. If only bad weather was always this sweet. Candy rain and ice cream blizzards. That would be awesome. Yeah! Ted, Monica, what's with the faces? Yeah, a few candies went places that perhaps they shouldn't have, but that's no biggie. Now it's time for our heroes to finally feast. A Kit Kat. Do you love these crunchy candy bars? As it goes, the more chocolate you got, the tastier it is. Monica is drunk with power with all those Kit Kats before her. Monica, you need to take a chill pill right about now. Ted isn't going to put anything off. He's gonna dig in, small as his portion may be. Mm, that crunches music to the ears. Katie? Whoa, go big or go home, huh, girl? If that's how she likes to eat, more power to her, I say. Though it is a tad frightening for those of us watching. 
All right, now for the main event. Wow! Monica and her horde of candy bars. And would you look at this? She knows just how she wants to come at it all. Quite an interesting recipe. <laughs> Though to pull this off, you need some specific superpowers like Monica's got. That's got to be a very sweet soup. Eggs? That's a far cry from the delicious chocolate bars from the last round. You three big egg lovers, by any chance? <laughs> yeah, no, guess not. Katie, you're the bravest. Start us off already. Ew, a raw egg right in the mouth? That is beyond disgusting. <laughs> Ted won't be following her example. He's got what he thinks is a genius idea. We'll see. <laughs> hey, man, be a bit more careful, would you? Oops. And what's this going to be? An egg smoothie? innocent enough, but the taste is just horrible. But who expected anything else? Oh no! What? Um, what's going on? Guys, any clue? I think this might be a special place for those who have already completed the egg round. But what about Monica? There's no saying no, my dear. That was an epic fall right into the pool made just for her. Raw eggs are everywhere. I wonder if she'll ever wash them all out of her hair and clothes. Not very nice to laugh at your friend. Ooh, I think all three of you may need a shower now. Oh no, peppers, Aww. things aren't getting any easier. And for one lucky contestant, this round is going to be crazy hot. Namely, Ted. Oh no! We feel for you, man, but you knew what you signed up for with this challenge. Katie takes the tiniest nibble from her chili and feels the burn immediately. Oh! <laughs> Blah. Monica picks up her peppers and takes a bite out of all three. That was so brave. <laughs> Wash it down with water now! Ted knows what awaits him, and there is nothing he can do to change it. <laughs> do it, man. There's no turning back. way to douse those flames is with a bucket of water. Thank goodness their dishes came with plenty. <sighs> Poor Dad. He needs a minute or two. Hmm. That's it? One piece of gum? <laughs> Ted's sitting a bit prettier, to be sure. But the big winner is Miss Monica by a long shot. <clears throat> Blech. Katie isn't going to wait around. She pops her piece into her mouth. What? Turns out she's not exactly a master of blowing bubbles. But Ted thinks he can show everyone how it's done. He's got lots of practice in this field, but there's always a catch. Bubbles pop. Sooner or later. Take your time and clean yourself up, bud. <laughs> oh. Monica isn't messing around at all. No tricks or funny business. She's simply shoving as much gum in her mouth as possible. 
And now she's going to show up even Ted's hey. bubble. He's got nothing on her. This might be a world record. Someone call Guinness. Still attached to her balloon, Monica starts floating upwards. So long, hun. Have a nice trip and hold on tight. Bye -bye. Sweet little gummy bears. Oh. Well, gummy bear. Ooh, now there's a whole lot more in that bowl. Not too shabby, but when there's a virtual army, that's even better. <laughs> Katie wants to show off a bit with her one bear. If you don't have much, make it unforgettable. <laughs> Ted loves to play with his food, too. His mother would just be appalled by his behavior. But it is pretty entertaining. Hmm. Girls, don't be such sticks in the mud. What's with the judgy faces? <laughs> Monica is on cloud nine right about now. When Juby in her place, she's really rubbing it in the other two's faces. But her greed has really come back to bite her. <laughs> Have you ever found yourself in this sticky situation? Who's got an idea on how to free up her hands from that mess? What do we start with? We're gonna start with the pizza. I hope you know how to cook it. That's a good choice. I've been working in an Italian restaurant for a long time, so I can make this pizza super easy. The most important thing is you need to knead the dough well. Here, I'll show you how to do it. You just crack a couple of eggs and then you knead the dough. Just like this. That's the right consistency. The dough. The taste is all in the sauce. Oh, and we can't forget about the cheese. Oh, goodness me! I'm getting a little tired. What's so difficult about making pizza? You just need to cut up some sausage and cheese. Ta-da! The pizza's ready. I gotta agree with Granny. Sauce is really important. I think in the end I made a way cooler sauce than I thought. I really outdid myself. Just look at how delicious this tomato sauce is. Ah! Now I understand how to make the sauce. Just gotta blend up some tomatoes in a blender. Oops, I completely forgot to put on the lid. And I'm covered in tomato sauce. Well, at least it got on the pizza. Everything's ready. Me too. All I have to do is bake it. I can't forget to decorate my pizza. Now it's time for me to bake it too. Ta-da! Everything's ready. Now I just have to add some finishing touches. See, now this is what a real pizza looks like. And smells like. I outdid myself. Kate, time to try. Ooh, I finally get a good meal. What's this supposed to be? Why are there these huge chunks of sausage? I don't even want to try this. It looks gross. Wow! But this pizza, on the other hand, looks delicious. Just look at how that cheese stretches. Mmm, yummy. This is delicious. Okay, now for the last one. 
Hmm, this is also really delicious. Just like in a homemade way. I don't know which one to choose. Ah, who am I kidding? Chef Betty made the best pizza. Yeah, I knew it would be me. I'm better than everyone here. <laughs> What are we gonna cook this time? I want delicious pancakes. The perfect dessert. Easy. Betty, watch and learn. Are you talking to me? It's you who should be watching me and learning. I'll show you who's boss. Have you guys completely forgotten about me? We'll see who's cooler. Check out how I can handle this milk. That's nothing. I can do that too. Wow, that's cool. I want to try. Oops. That didn't work out. Now check out how I crack these eggs. I'm like a real ninja. So what? I'm like a sumo wrestler. Oh no, I'm not gonna hurt myself. I think I'll just use the plate. Oops. I think you're adding a little too much flour. My dough's gonna be better. Now I'm gonna beat it up with my special mixer. <laughs> Big deal. I can just use my hands. Ooh, I need flour too. Oops. I think I missed. Well, I guess I can just mix this by hand. Yeah, that's super easy. I have almost everything ready. Boring. Those pancakes look so boring. Why not try making them a little more colorful? For example, I'm gonna make a pancake with a huggy wuggy face. Check this out. First, I'll start with the eyes and mouth. Next, the lips. Now for his blue fuzzy face. That's horrifying. I think I like my pancakes a lot better. Now I just need to add some maple syrup. And some butter. I'm getting tired. Wow! Everybody else is almost done! And Betty's pancakes look so beautiful! I need to hurry. Well, looks aren't everything. I'm sure Kate's really gonna like mine. Alright, time to try! Um, Jess? What is this? It looks disgusting. You burnt it. I'm not eating that. But these pancakes in the center look really nice. And delicious. Ooh, wow, how delicious! These are the pancakes I've always dreamed of. And what is this? These look really original. Time to try them. Mmm. These pancakes taste incredible. Again, I don't know which one should win. Let it be grandma this time. 
Grandma, you made the most delicious pancakes. I told you. I'm a real pancake master. This time, I want a big and delicious sandwich. Oh, a sandwich! I'll give you a sandwich. The most important thing is to add enough vegetables. This is gonna make it so much healthier. First, I'll chop up some onion. And then some tomatoes. Oh, the toast is ready. That means your sandwich is almost ready. I think this is turning out quite delicious. Check out my healthy sandwich. Vegetables? Who needs those? Chocolate's way better. And can't forget about the marshmallows. And instead of some gross lettuce, let's try some sweet jelly. You can never have too much chocolate and marshmallows. I think I'm making the most original sandwich yet. Making any old sandwich is boring. I'm gonna show you how to make a cool sandwich. Just check this out. You've never seen a sandwich like this. This is a super ham sandwich. And it's coming your way. Kate's definitely gonna love it. Wow, everything looks super. I don't even know which one to choose. I guess I'll start with this one. Mmm, delicious. But why are there so many onions? Ugh. I can't stand those. Ew. But those are really healthy. <laughs> Who cares about that? Ew, I don't like shrimp. And those are olives? And there's a whole bunch of onions here, too. This is filled with stuff that I don't even like. Gross. I'll just eat the meat and cheese. But then if I just eat that, the sandwich is gonna be so boring. What a letdown. Oh no! All right, Jess. You're my last hope. Hey, Jess. How did you know that I love chocolate? How delicious! Jess, congratulations. You won! Yay! Finally! Super! Make me some scrambled eggs! Well, that's not complicated. Easy peasy. I'm gonna make a real gourmet dish. Hey, Grandma! Stop sleeping! The challenge has already started. We need to make scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs? Why, thank you, young lady. Well, it's time to start. I'll need that oil too, Mary. Sure. You can't have scrambled eggs without oil, right? Hey, why isn't it pouring? Stupid bottle. I didn't need to get that much oil. Oops. Ted, now you take an egg. Which you'll break into the frying pan. It's very simple. Yeah! Nothing could be easier. Here we go!
One more! Well, that was almost right. These guys are useless. I can definitely beat them. Cooking's my thing. Scrambled eggs are so easy, too. But I'm gonna make these a little more fun. First, I'm gonna separate the yolk from the whites. Then, I'm gonna mix up the whites until they become nice and foamy. Why is she doing all that? I have no idea. Turned out great! Now let's mix up the yolks. And pour them right into the pan. Here they go! Those are some weird scrambled eggs. Why'd you separate them? Because this makes the eggs a lot more fancier. Just look how fancy my dish looks now. Very. But I think all you need is salt and pepper to give scrambled eggs a little extra kick. <laughs> ah! Ted! What's wrong? It's so hot! Why is it hissing like that? What's happening? Help! I think my scrambled egg wants to kill me! Maybe it's because you should have turned the stove off a long time ago? You burnt them all. Oh no! That's not what was supposed to happen! Well, maybe I can make it taste better with some whipped cream. Whipped cream goes good on everything, right? Okay, I'm ready. I have everything ready, too. Wow! Mary, you did something really unusual. Do you mind if I touch it? Hands off! This is a real delicacy. All right, Kate, it's your choice. I don't even know where to start. What's this black scrambled egg thing with white on top? I can't even cut it. Mmm, but these fried eggs with the gooey center look so appetizing. Just gotta try it. Delicious! This is exactly what I wanted. I wonder what this is. It looks really strange. It tastes really good. But still, I like plain old ordinary scrambled eggs the best. Yeah! Grandma, you won! Love ya! Grandma won! <laughs> Grandma beat them all! In this round, you're gonna need to try to make me a delicious burger. Easy peasy. Oh, I don't know anything about burgers. I love burgers! I might end up eating this myself. It's time to start cooking. It's time for me to win. Hey, that's my tomato! You can't just take it away. My granddaughter's not gonna get just a delicious burger, but also a very healthy burger. Tomato, onions, cucumber… I won't need any of that meat. You know it's really bad for you. No worse than your cooking. The main thing is to cook with love. Then my healthy burger won't just be healthy. But also delicious. <laughs> this is what I mean by healthy eating. None of your junk food. Even ghosts on a farm don't eat that much grass. I can't believe you're gonna give that to your granddaughter. What's a burger without an actual burger? It's the most important part. Then all you need is some cheese and sauce. I'm already drooling. Ah! 
<laughs> Stupid onion! Who came up with the idea to put this on burgers anyways? Oh, come on! I can't cook anything! Don't be upset! Here, have a piece of chocolate! A chocolate bar! That's it! That's such a great idea! Why cook a regular burger when I can make it sweet and chocolatey? This is gonna turn out so cool! Just a little more chocolate left. Ooh. Wow, this is gonna be the coolest chocolate burger you've ever seen! And the cherry on top of the cake is gonna be this chocolate syrup. Makes my burger look amazing! I've never seen a chocolate burger before! I think it's gonna be really tasty! Mmm, this is amazing! Let's see what'll happen next. Hey, where's the patty? What am I? Some goat on a farm? It tastes too healthy. Burgers like this don't put me in a very good mood. Whoa, but this third one's a real contender! This burger looks way cooler! Mmm, yummy! Just the thing for a perfect lunch! Which burger should I choose? The sweet one? Or the hearty one? No, after all, I like sweet more. It's way more original! Yeah! Woohoo! I won! <laughs> what are we gonna cook this time? I want pancakes. I haven't had those in a while. Oh, I'll show you guys. You're gonna get it from me. I don't know how to make those. What should I do? Well, get started. My only chance is to watch everybody else cook. Apparently, you gotta start with milk. And now it's time for the eggs. And now you have to add flour and mix it really well. I'm just saying, just in case you know, you forgot. Honey, I'm a grandma. I don't forget anything. And I don't need your electric devices. What should I do? Apparently all I have left is a fork. This is turning into some kind of disgusting porridge. <gasps> Ted, watch and learn. Your grandma's pancakes are the most delicious. So beautiful. I think it'll be very tasty. Mary, what are you doing? I want my pancakes to look cool too. So maybe if they're bright colors leave a more lasting impression. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, Grandma, but looks like you've already lost. And if I can make my pancakes into an unusual shape… Well, then I'll be a genius! What should I do? I don't have anything ready at all! Maybe I should just dump this all onto the frying pan? Maybe that'll work? Kate, look how beautiful mine is. Try my pancakes instead. They're much tastier. Ah! It's on fire! What's that stink? I'm done too! All these pancakes look great! But first, I'll start with this beauty in the center. This girl looks like me! I've never seen a portrait of myself on a pancake before. And this pancake tastes incredible! But 
but this little burnt lump doesn't look appetizing at all. I don't even think I'm gonna try it. Not. I guess all that's left is the pancake on the third plate. So yummy! This is definitely the most delicious pancake of them all! Well, Grandma? You've won! Hooray! I knew it! Oops, sorry! I'm gonna show you! Will you take that?